is at the very bottom of this uh, vessel or contain container and the nuclear reactor has generated some steam or vapor and they cool it down with this water so if you go through this the steam once again returns to water and then you put this again into this nuclear reactor so it's one of the cooling functions and it's at the very bottom of this containment vessel and it, having a failure means that there may be some hole or there may be some crack and in that case the water could leak out and according to chief cabinet secretary when we listen to him the radiation level he said that the radiation level has not been risen in a rapid manner yet and it may not be a rapid rise but it could be some mild rise or mild increase in the level and it could affect he said that it doesn't affect immediately human bodies but because the containment function of this uh, nuclear reactor is failing then it means that the fuel rods inside are exposed here so, and, and it is already a serious situation so well from now on if the containment vessel cannot contain all the radiation inside then um, that will be a very serious uh, situation but we don't know the detail yet and Mr. Idano uh, held a news conference for two times uh, in the past hour and that means itself that the situation could be very serious now, uh, we don't know about the failure, and once we have the new information, we will uh, report that. Now, Mr. Sekin, um, the fact that um, these uh, fuel rods are exposed, all exposed, this is very serious. Yes, um, there is heat being emitted, and as a result of this, at this point in time, um, well, we would not say that it has reached a level where there will be a meltdown, and that is not the case. Uh, but uh, because um, within the fuel, the, there is heat, and as time goes, um, this uh, will be reduced um, because um, it is already three days uh, since the reactor has been shut down. Um, therefore, the heat that is generated from here is being reduced to a significant extent. But um, the fact that they cannot cool uh, means that um, the fuel rods um, temperature is rising and it could be that uh, melting may start. So um, the water level is not rising, we hear, um, and this has an impact on the cooling function, yes. Um, um, in order to raise the water level, they are trying to inject sea water into the reactor. Uh, but at this point in time, um, the water gauge has not um, shown that it is rising. Um, earlier it said that it's quite low, but um, the most recent information we received is that the water level is starting to recover. Um, what about the, um, well, um, in uh, the areas nearby, um, the, we say that the uh, radio, radioactivity, radioactive substances have increased by six volts. Well, it was just in one location that um, this measurement was uh, confirmed, but um, since then the radioactivity has been reduced, uh, meaning that, uh, well, we have to see um, what the distribution of the radioactive substances and how it is changing. Uh, we have to uh, grasp the total picture. I think this is necessary. And uh, the number one and number three reactors, um, uh, the building of the reactor has been blown off as a result of the hydrogen explosion. Will the same happen to the number two reactor? Well, um, at the number two reactor also, um, uh, this um, the cover. Uh, the zirconium cover of the fuel rods. Um, uh, as a result of oxidization, uh, hydrogen will be generated. I think the same will happen for the number two reactor as well. But whether or not um, this uh, will be released into the building and as a result of the buildup of the hydrogen blow off of the um, ceiling of, of the hydrogen, this is to be questioned because this was what happened in the number one and number three reactor, but we do not know for sure that hydrogen will build up in such a way. Uh, there, uh, there is a hole uh, being opened in the, uh, the um, building itself um, to release hydrogen. So, um, well, uh, whether or not the hydrogen would build up to the extent where it will trigger a blast, I think is unlikely uh, to happen. 
Uh, Mr. Mizuno, uh, the government and TEPCO have decided to set up a joint task force. Um, the Prime Minister has made this announcement this morning. Yes, that is correct. Um, well, it's uh, very difficult to get uh, quick um, information, accurate information. And uh, um, the day before yesterday, uh, when the uh, hydrogen blast took place at the number one reactor and the building uh, collapsed, um, well, um, the, the chief cabinet secretary, two hours after, um, said that he was unsure whether an explosion had occurred. And it was only after a while that he confirmed that it was a hydrogen explosion. Um, the operator, namely TEPCO, is the, uh, um, the entity which has this information, but they are not communicating this quickly to the government, and therefore the government has to go to um, TEPCO to set up this joint task force so that they can capture um, information firsthand. I think this was the thinking of the government. And uh, well, um, 11 years ago at the um, Tokai um, um, critical um, accident, um, yes, um, they had set up um, such an organization and they did have uh, such a task force at the Prime Minister's office, but uh, this is something uh, just at the government level and it's difficult to obtain information from the operator of 